We have crews covering this developing story tonight. We begin with News for Jax reporter Vic Michalucci, who spoke to a retired Jacksonville SWAT officer who's taken down many dangerous suspects in manhunts. A manhunt like this takes hundreds of officers from dozens of agencies throughout Maine. But Mr. Card is considered armed and dangerous, and police advise that Maine people should not approach him under any circumstances. 40-year-old Robert Card is believed to be behind two separate mass shootings last night. He's an Army reservist described as an outdoorsman and a skilled marksman, plus a firearms instructor. How you find him is just a systematic search of just cutting things off and just staying um, and just replenishing guys, keeping it fresh and always keeping the pressure on the person that you're hunting. Jared Reston is a former Jacksonville Sheriff's Office SWAT officer who now trains law enforcement across the country with the Reston Group. He's been involved with numerous high profile manhunts. He's one person an entity we can trade people out and keep that pressure on them all the time and that's that's what they're going to do they systematically clear, clear off areas this manhunt reminds him of the search for christopher kilgore on jacksonville's west side and in clay county in 2010. kilgore shot four people killing two schools and businesses went on lockdown for the day's long search until police found him hiding out in a boat on someone's property you were you were among the people that, that that fired into the boat, right? Shot and killed him. Yes, yes, okay. yes. There are four of us. Oh, he was armed with multiple. He had his uh, he had the boat set up almost like a like you know had guns like set up on it, like he would like that would be his little fighting stance. Reston has contacts with Maine State Police. He says they have a robust SWAT team. They're heavily armed and highly prepared for a job like this. Good luck to the guys up there. I feel terrible for the families all involved. They're, they're going to do their job up there. Bringing peace to a community very much in pain. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station.